Shador Sanders. Shador Sanders is Deion Sanders' son. He is the quarterback at Jackson State. He is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, they have got a Heisman Trophy campaign going for him right now. And he has now signed an NIL deal with Tom Brady's apparel line. It, uh, the Brady brand or whatever it is. Uh, it's, it's pretty insane. Sanders said, I'm so excited to work with the Brady team. Tom has been a long-time mentor to me both on and off the field, and I've been a fan of his apparel brand since its inception, so this partnership feels like a natural next step. I couldn't be more grateful and excited to join the list of world-class athletes that represent the brand. Uh, this is this is pretty awesome. It's a signature apparel brand. Uh, Sanders was one of 10 college athletes signed to help promote the company's first clothing line. So it's not like this is the first thing that they've done. Uh, but, yeah, you look at the, the stats here. Uh he has thrown for 1,700 yards, 17 touchdowns, two interceptions, and Jackson State is 5-0 and on the season. So he's he's looking pretty good. Uh, he's They say he's got an NIL valuation of $1.2 million per on threes NIL uh, you know, valuation tracker, whatever it is. But this is, uh, this is a pretty big deal. He's already got a deal with Beats by Dre, et cetera. He is using NIL to the best of his ability. It's pretty awesome. Now, does some of this have to do with the fact that he is Deion Sanders' son? Yes, obviously. But the other part of this is you still got to be good to hold up your end of the bargain. If you're not good, nobody's going to care if you're Deion Sanders' son. But the fact that you are his son and you are an elite athlete, that certainly helps things out. I think this is a smart move on both counts, on both sides of this. Moving on, number four. On today's show, the news items here, Jalen Daniels. Let's go on and bring this thing up. Da, 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 da. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's hit on this. Jackson State. Jackson State has, uh, they, they are pushing, and not, not even necessarily Jackson State, but Jackson officials in Jackson, Mississippi, are pushing for a new stadium. It says a sense of urgency to keep Don Sanders has pushed the Jackson City Council to roll out a plan for a new stadium. Uh, it says, da, 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 we've had so much success with our coach, Deion Sanders, prime time, and it's just the perfect time if we're going to get a new stadium to start talking, and let's try to make it a reality. Ward 3 Councilman Kenneth Stokes said via WLBT, we're all hoping that Coach Prime stays in the city for a long period of time, but a lot of colleges and universities are trying to get his talents, which is absolutely true. Uh, he's been rumored for a ton of P5 jobs. Um, when you look at, uh, it says maybe if we can show as a state that we are committed to him staying and to the new stadium, maybe it would help encourage him to stay. Uh, because it, it, what they're looking at is basically this quote right here from Councilman Vernon Hartley. We're talking economic impact in the millions. If and when he decides to move on, it's going to be a loss. We need to go ahead and take advantage of all the things we can do right now. This is 100% true. Uh, Jackson has been pushing for a new stadium for a long, long time. Uh, it has One died in the Mississippi legislature, uh, legislature earlier this year uh, because the current governor does not believe in using you know, taxpayer funds to build a new stadium. However, uh, that is something that could help the city of Jackson. Big time. If you want to get involved in big time athletics, uh, whether it's for Jackson State or by bringing a bowl game or finding, you know, anything, find a way to get Ole Miss to play one game a year or Mississippi State, something along those lines. It, it, most SEC schools typically do not want to take games away from campus, but some have. Arkansas signed a deal with the city of Little Rock a long time ago. Missouri has now signed a deal with St. Louis to play one game there per year. So, there are ways to get it done. If you can, if you can sign a deal that is lucrative, uh, lucrative enough with some of the state schools, yeah, it helps tourism. It helps the economic impact of your city. So that is something to pay attention to when looking at uh, the whole Deion Sanders situation. Do I think that something like that would be enough to keep him there? Probably not because I, he has stated it before. He wants to be an FBS, a Power 5 a head coach, uh, I think. He's probably going to get the opportunity. We shall see. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.